Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We got five days a week. We got seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. You are what you believe you are. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power, it's what you believe. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 36, NASDAQ off 66, S&P's off nine and a half, gold contract uh, trading up $11.40, 1652 an ounce. We have silver up 58 cents, 19 dollars 71 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 99, 88 dollars 52 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year flat, 110.18. The 30 year up 18 ticks at 121.02 and King Dollar. King Dollar down 20 ticks, trading 111.504. The euro is at 98. The yen is at 148.21. And the British pound is at 114 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. The world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, I want to share the futures here because I want to show you what's stopping this from going down. So if we take a look at this, and what I'm going to bring up now right now, folks, is a four-day, 10-minute uh, chart of the futures. And you're going to see this is pretty clear here. It's, in, it's on both of them also, okay? So you can see we got down to, you know, this price point here of, well, here, let me open this part here for a second. Okay, so... When, when we open this part, what I was just going to say when we come in on the air, but we're already here. See the last time with, with the volume on the way down? This is on the S&P. That was 3,874. Well, the bottom line is because that was the last time with volume on the way down, that was telling me that, hey, we're going to get up there. Now the real question is going to be, do, do you go buy it? Because this is what you have. The first thrust this morning did have volume. We're just trying to get to higher price. That had volume of 63,000 contracts. Then the next one, bottom line, 31. That's not enough. This one here, I suspect is going to, you know, this one here is going to go for the one that 10 o'clock this morning. We'll see if we get any more juice. Now, if we go to the NQs, we have the same situation. So we take a look at the NQs. And what you have out here with the NQs, you're going to see the same type of situation. First, I'm going to bring this here. So the NQs haven't hit where I think they're going to go yet. So my take on the NQs is that you're going to at least get to that bar there, which is, and see the, the S&P already just did this. So, and the NQs is 11,400. So that's still 35 points away from where we are. I expect that's what's going to try to get into that bar. Now, let me show you how, what it was actually going into, because it was actually going into something with much lighter volume. And here it is. Open this up right there. So what you're going to see, see this whole day right here? This is, what time was that? That was, that was the opening bar, but that opening bar had 420,000 contracts, and the bottom line is that you were coming into that with 10,000 contracts. So that was the test. Now, if we go like this, watch this. This gets interesting. Put that to there. What you've done, you did a 50% retracement of that move that was established on Friday. That's what we did here. And you come back with lighter volume. So that's saying that, guess what? This game is still on, meaning the game. This is deviant because we had a huge acceleration last night from, you know, basically the rumors over in China. But the bottom line is that um, the market itself is thinking that China is going to open up because, um, we, you know, the bottom line, if you look at Freeport Mac Moran, I mean, it's trying to stay, it's trying to get over this level of uh, the 33.89. We made the 33.73 today. If you go to Southern Copper, you know, and I, I met Frank was basically calling about Freeport Mac Moran. Southern Copper is doing the same thing, man. It's up three, three. The, a lot of these equities look the same, by the way, inside of the metals market, folks. Okay, they, they, you know, we'll see whether they. Doesn't mean they will bust it, but they look like they, they, they're trying to bust it. Let's put it that way. And what has happened is that uh, Freeport Mac Moran, in particular, uh, that has been pushing. Let me see this on the weekly. That has been pushing that swing with volume. Yeah, you can see, see, look at the acceleration on the SCCO last week. So, hey, we'll see where this baby shakes out and see whether it can actually uh, blow away that level uh, with volume. 
Let's go take a look at the uh, TY, the bond market, because the bond market, and his, this, this divergence is all over the place, man. So the, the way the equity market is set up right now, that looks to me like they're going to come in with some kind of a dovish deal. That's how, it, you know, unless we get something that's really disastrous at the end of today, you know, the, the volume's not going to be here, man. Uh, we take a look at the 10-year. The 10-year right now didn't hold price today. That being said, though, last Wednesday, that was the first time, that, it was the second time that you got a sign of strength. So we're actually backing into that area. Let's see, we're at 1.6 million contracts, and you're backing into 2.3. And right now we're one tick underneath it. Okay, so the bottom line is that yes, it would you know you want to see it close above that area, uh, but right now uh, let's go take a look at the now if we just put the spy up and the queues up, you know what you're going to see is that you know you really basically have almost an inside day here, man. Well, that's, the, that's the reality. The spy went to a high high, but this is not a back off, man. It's just not. You know, and you'd have to build some cars anyway. So when you're coming up to ice, folks, you don't just blow by ice, you know, when, you know, particularly, come on, make that. I don't want to let go. Uh, let me do this again. So you don't just blow by ice when you're coming off the bottom. That, that's, that's how it just works. You know, so here's, that's ice right there, right at it. You know, you can go sideways for a bit. Uh, there's no doubt there's going to be fireworks out there. And what you had out here this morning, um, you know, you, you know the Fed wants information. Well, <laughs> the information they got this morning off of this uh, JOLTS report, and with that is is like, okay, you know, how many jobs are available? Well, the jobs went up. They didn't go down, <laughs> meaning the jobs available. So, you know, that's a very negative thing for the Fed. It's positive for the economy. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow Industrials are down 52. Nasdaq's off 73. S&P's off 12. We'll come right back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman.